In the UK and the EU, when we make a product containing a fragrance oil or essential oil, um, we need to declare the allergens in the product on the label when they present over certain levels. Um, these levels are 0.01% for leave-on products and 0.001% for rinse-off products. Leave-on products being cosmetics such as makeup, lotions, body butter, etc. Anything left on and massaged into the skin. Rinse-off products being cosmetics such as body wash, soap, shower gel, shampoo, etc. Anything that will be used and rinsed off, therefore in contact with the skin for a shorter period of time. People often feel worried looking at allergen documents, especially when it looks like there are a large amount of allergens in the product, but it's really nothing to be concerned about. They ask why the allergens are included at all, and the reason is quite simple. The allergens are the ingredients that make the fragrance smell like it does. Leaving out these ingredients would compromise the scent. Um, they are added in such tiny amounts, and therefore, unless the customer is known to be allergic to these ingredients, will be perfectly safe. This doesn't stop some of them being banned, however, but generally they're used in such small amounts that there is little to worry about anyway, and this will be widely advertised and there will be lots of information available. So how do we calculate allergens? It's a bit more complicated than just taking the percentages from the allergen document. The allergen document that you'll find for your chosen fragrances lists the allergen percentages at their concentration in the neat fragrance oil. This is undiluted you need to find out the percentage at concentration when diluted in your finished product. So here's how we do it. The formula for working out the percent of allergen in your final product is formula usage rate percentage. This is how much you're using it in your product. Divide 100, then times the percent present in the allergen, which you'll find on your allergen document, divided by 100, then times all of that by 100, and this will give you the percent of allergen present in your final product. If your answer comes out at 0.01% or higher, then you need to list it on the label as an allergen for rinse-off products. If your answer comes out at 0.001% or higher, then you need to list it on the label for leave-on products. Of course, not everyone fancies a mast session every time they make a new product, so I've created an Excel calculator to help you do this. So let's have a look at how that works with some of our fragrances as examples. So here's our allergen sheet for our uh, coconut ice fragrance, and you can see we have allergens present of cormarin and cinnamol. Um, so we're going to put them in our allergen calculator. This is our calculator. Uh, the first page will tell you how to do it and gives you the formula for doing it. And then the second tab is our calculator. So if we input our fragrance, let's write it properly, <laughs> and the supplier, because you can keep a record of all of these if you want to go back to them later or print them out. And then just scroll down here to find your allergen and type in the percentage it's listed as total present on your allergen form and do the same for the other one and then once you've got those figures you want to come up to here your formula usage rate and put in the percentage that you're using in your formula for us it's two percent and then you'll see in these boxes on the right What's happening is it's telling you, yes, you do need to list it on the label. Uh, both of them need listing on the label for leave-on products, and just the one of them needs listing on the label for the rinse-off products. And it's as simple as that. It will give you a yes if you need to list them and on what type of products you need to list them. So next, let's have a look at something with a few more allergens. This one looks pretty scary, but it's really not. This first column is what has been added uh, by the manufacturer to uh, include, uh, to make the fragrance. The second column there is to show you what's naturally occurring. And then the total is the number that you'll take uh, notice of for your table. Um, and then we just need to input our new fragrance again, and then enter them all into the table just as before.
it'll be pretty obvious to you when you get really, really small numbers. Um, for instance, we've got 0 0.0017 uh, for benzyl alcohol. Obviously, that's going to be fine. It's, it's a very, very small amount. Um, but put it in the table anyway, then you can just be 100% sure that you've got all of your allergens correct. And then come up here again and put the percent usage rate in. Um, again, we tend to use it 2% if it's allowed. Check the if for guidance to make sure that you're using the uh, allowed amount for your product and not going over that. And as you can see from all of those allergens, we've only got two. On rinse off products, you don't need to list them at all. They're absolutely fine uh, concentration for rinse off products. And for leave on, you only need to list two on your label because they come out. Uh, above that 0.001 percentage. So there you go, it's that simple. Um, if you want the calculator, it's linked below and uh, any questions, just drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be making more videos to help you out. If there's anything you want to know, um, just ask. <laughs>